Hello guys and girls and welcome back to my Dark Souls 2 walkthrough. On the last episode we just killed the Mirror Knight person. And in this episode we made it to the Shrine of Amana. And we're going to try progressing through it. But before we progress through it, I actually want to put on that sweet ass armor that we got in the last episode. So, uh, I'm talking about the... Yes, I'm naked for like the first time. The Farmon, or Far whatever, armor. And this is the armor I think I want to go with. I mean, look at how sweet this looks. It really does look sweet. Um, I can still fast roll in it, which is really good. Uh, I'm right at 60%, which kind of sucks. I wish I was like under 60, because I think that would give me like the, the other roll. Anyways, uh, what I noticed during my off time... Uh, my off-camera character is that you could actually buy like a bunch of you could buy an unlimited amount of regular uh, Tynite shards from that character and then I could come back here and reinforce it uh, this way Tynite, Tynite, yes Tynite, Tynite, Tynite I still need like uh, three, one, uh, six, nine. I still need nine more. I don't have 9,000 souls though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop some uh, of these souls. I'm probably going to end up using all of them. No, not you. There you go. Keep using them. Because we're also going to go to... The other blacksmith who sells large tie knights so we can upgrade our armor even further. And uh, hopefully this armor will carry us through the game because I don't feel like upgrading another armor set to be better than this one. So with that we have upgrade or we have popped like 6,000 souls. Uh, oh wait, right, 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 right. Tie knight shards. Also, if you might notice, the game actually does look different um that is because i added a mod to my game it's called the gem mod i'll leave a link in the description below but basically what it does it makes the contrast a lot better and by doing so the game looks darker the areas that are supposed to look dark actually look dark and all that good jazz so i'll make sure to leave that in the description and Honestly, it makes the game look even better, and it makes it more atmospheric, which I completely appreciate. So, there's that also. Um, I wonder if my Claymore is actually... Is it plus 10 yet? Yes, it is! Okay. Um, okay, so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna beat up these dogs because these dogs actually have a tendency of going into the room while I'm talking to, to this blacksmith and it becomes pretty damn annoying wait I have not gotten the ember I've not gotten the ember Arr! okay let's go get the ember I actually found it uh, off camera again like I always miss everything like on you know in yeah uh, so what we want to do, we actually want to go here, here, yeah. This is the bonfire right after the fire boss thing, the one that like starts like flaming and then he, he makes his sword flaming and then flamey, flamey flames, yeah, that one. Now if you also, another little secret is if you come in here, you can fight the pursuer again. We'll take him out right quick. There's a, some frame drops right there. Nope. You should just like die. He's he's the same pursuer, so it's not like oh he's tougher this time. Or he might have more HP, but I mean his move set's still the same. Um you know, not much different. Okay, I'm gonna take this time to S this. There you go, good dodge. Good dodge. But doesn't this armor look sick? It really does. Alright, I'm gonna take this time to regain some stamina, so I won't be attacking him. Also, I actually want to get something else before I move on, also. It's a really, really good ring that I found. 
I think it's called Ring of the Second Dragon or something like that. And it's not, we could have gotten it a long time ago, basically. And I'm surprised that we haven't gotten it. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Uh, switch. There you go. I thought I had my shield out, but no, I had my my two I was two handing my weapon. So we're halfway done with him. So yeah, I guess he has more HP because obviously we weren't doing this much damage earlier in uh, the game, so Ow, oh, that actually hurt, sir. I'll S this up right quick. Yeah, but this ember should only take us like maybe like 20 seconds to get it shouldn't be much at all so this is probably the hardest part going through all this I mean we don't even have to fight him if you leave the room he won't he'll just disappear which is good okay finish him he's dead we're gonna get uh 3,000 more souls and ring of ring of blades uh, plus one, which increases our physical attack, if I do remember correctly. Okay, we killed him. He dropped a destructive great arrow. Okay, so you want to jump over here. Over here is where you found the Zweehander, and there's that platform right there. Let's see if we can make that jump. That was really close. Uh, and that's a dull ember that you need. Now we're going to use a Homeward Bone. To go back to the bonfire, then we'll teleport back to the blacksmith, and then we'll. After that, you. Uh, oh yeah, we'll continue upgrading our. Our armor, because that's what we were doing before. I, before we go and tackle this new area, I think it'll be. The best thing to do. Also, uh, I've heard that the shrine of Amana is a big pain in the butt. And uh, I should probably take like a, a bow, a bow with me. Yeah. So I might end up upgrading. Um, I might end up upgrading some of uh, or a bow. I think we got a lightning bow uh, that we got in the castle, the Drang Lake Castle. So I'm gonna try getting that or upgrading it. All right, we need some more shards. Um, let's get like five more, maybe. Uh, hopefully, we could we have enough souls to keep upgrading. That's the thing. All right, so upgrade that. We'll upgrade this, and we'll upgrade that, and that's all we have. All right, so let's go through our inventory now. Um, do I have a bow, which is basically what I'm looking for? I should have a lightning bow. Yeah, here we go. Lightning bow plus one. Is that it? I guess so. It's a lightning bow plus one. Um, can I upgrade that further? I probably can. I don't have any souls with me though. So I guess we're just going to tackle the Shrine of Amano without a bow. So, oh well. Now that took like eight minutes. So, you know, kind of a slow start to the episode, but we should be fine. So, we're right back at the Shrine of Amana, and let's go tackle this area. I'm really excited, like, you know, like, mm, if you look at the previous video and how this place looked in that video compared to how it looks in this video, this, like, this mod makes it look so much, I don't know, it's, it's obviously darker, um, and because it's darker, it's more atmospheric and all that jazz. Now, how am I supposed to get that? Do I break the branch down? Yeah, I thought so. I was like, I cannot grab that. I'll probably just fall to my death if I go for it. Um, is this the right way to go, though? That's the question of the day. Uh, I see some... I see a chest, and I see a bug. So let's try to kill the bug before it does anything crazy. Attack the chest to make sure it's not a mimic. So we got some spices and stuff. Bug ahead. Yes. Yes, there was. So I think with that, that's a dead end. So we'll try making our way out the other end. Uh, but yeah, this game looks so much better with this mod. I would highly suggest it. And 
it's not done yet. It's still being updated. You know, the person that is making it is still playing Dark Souls himself. And, you know, you know how that goes. I mean, I'm sure modding's like, incredibly hard already. And then if you want to do other stuff on the side, which most of us do because we all have lives, uh, you know. Is there anything back here? No. Okay. So, I'm expecting there to be, like, holes in the floor where... Oh, my... That scared the crap out of me. That scared the crap out of me. Okay. <sighs> so there's lizard people. Are those... Oh, wait, what? Where did you come from? Hello. Oh, wait, I want to go pick up my ring. My, my second ring. Um, hmm. And I don't have any... Hello. Should I go pick it up? Maybe at the next bonfire. We'll try making it to the next bonfire and then we'll teleport. It should Getting the ring I want shouldn't take too long either. So, there's that guy. Uh, what rings do I have equipped, by the way? I have Ring of Blades already. Should I equip the next one? Eh, sure, why not? And... Okay, yeah. That, that looks pretty good. Um, here's another one. Um, okay, obviously I can't hit you because you're in a lower level than me. There you go. Two hits. You're dead. Um, and yeah, like, the... A, a torch actually has significance now with this new mod that I implemented. Oh my god. God, okay, so I'm guessing these things are attracted to light, is what I'm guessing. Keep attacking, do not stop the music. Nope, bad swing. I need to regain my, my stamina, that's why I need- Ooh, I'm, I'm, I've almost been inflicted with bleeding. Keep moving. Lizard man, go away, no one likes you. Where are you going? Okay, so I'm guessing- yeah, like I said, I'm guessing the flame actually aggro's them, so I think I might not go with a flame. Yeah, but even like simple areas like um, like Turtle Land, that area with the giant uh, the giant tree, the tree giant tree thing, the one that drops a seed of a giant. I could have sworn that you were locked up in the castle. We knew you were coming. And stop singing. We are Milfanito. We are here to sing to those bound by death and dark. We will sing here forever. As we always have. From long, long ago. We know nothing of the world outside. And why should we? For we will never leave. Do you seek King Vendrick? But what is a king, after all? We know nothing of the world outside. For we will never leave here. When we sing, the little ones dance. The little ones grant comfort to those who bear death and dark. This is what we were taught. Is there anything wrong? Perhaps this will help. This is all that we can do. When we sing, the little this. When we sing, the little all right, well, um, they're people that sing. I don't know what else to describe them as. And they sing because they're told that it makes little ones ambush butthole. Um, because they're told that whatever the little ones are, and wait, curse, it helps them, um, and makes them like us or something? I don't know. Uh, here we have another chest. Cool. I'm not gonna get attacked from behind, right? There's like a blood stain way out there. Crimson water. Wait, what? What? What's cursing me? Oh, it's this pot on the floor. Okay. 
Whatever. Um. So yeah, they sing. Little ones, they like it. It stuff, and they're never allowed to leave. And then she made me question what a king is. So that's interesting. Um. There's blood stains. So can I actually walk out in the water like as far as I want? Because I'm kind of scared to. In all honesty. Like, the water looks scary, like, it looks all dark and whatnot. Hello. And the singing started again. You could hear, you could hear her sing in the background. I'll just be quiet for a second, let you guys understand what I'm talking about. No, that's a dead end. You'll just fall and die. Okay, so you can't walk all the way out there. So we picked up some spices. There's an item over here. Oh! Wow! Hello. Oh, you dropped something for me. Old Radiant Life Gem. Actually, that's actually really cool how I rolled in the water and my light actually turned off. Alright, so let's keep going. Um, I think I'm going to use a life gem. Just so I'm in full HP. Got a torch. And one, two, and you're dead. Uh, there's, yeah, there's a monster over here. They look kind of creepy. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Alright, so, so far so good. The area hasn't been terribly bad to me. Um, that first lizard person surprised the crap out of me out of the water. Um, so let's head into the cave. Look at this lighting, though. Like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it off so you can see how dark it is. It's significantly darker, um, even compared to, I'm guessing what would be the what would be the um. Why is it? glowing compared to the vanilla like without a mod uh dark souls 2 nope don't get hit that was gonna cause bleeding they do so much bleed effect damage stuff okay you guys are dead is there anything above me nope all right what did it drop do you drop human effigy so were they once humans i'm not sure what constitutes something dropping human effigy? Do they have to be human? Where does human effigy even originate from? Twinkling Titanite and smooth something. Try jog, fatty. Uh, oh, so I can't fit in there, so he called me fat. Ha ha ha. Very funny. Okay, so we have our first fog wall up ahead. We can't already make it to another boss, can we? We just fought a boss last episode. <sighs> Um, no, but this looks ridiculously pretty. Oh my god. Look at this. Like, look at that sun. It looks... Like, you guys need to get this mod. It's so good. I'm being shot at. By you? Ow, oh, I got hit. Who else is shooting me? Oh, you're like all the way out there. Oh. Uh, drink Estes. Whatever. He hit me and then I healed. There you go. This place is so pretty. I need a light though. Like, not, not a cigarette light. I don't smoke. 
Um, I'm gonna use a torch because I cannot see. Oh god. <laughs> you scared the living crap out of me. Oh god. Don't. Ah, uh, my light went out. <laughs> I was like, don't roll in the water. And then, like, I rolled in the water. And that happened. Um, okay, I wanna use another one because I can. Oh. Nope. Lock on. There you go. Alright, so I'm not sure. Uh, sometimes they it draws people in. Oh, there's actually a bonfire right here. Hello. Sometimes it draws them in, sometimes it doesn't. And that's what I'm getting from this. I don't know. I might be crazy, and I would not blame you for thinking I'm crazy. Hello. At least I can see the floor with this. Like right there, that's a dead end right here. So I would have probably fell to my death if I couldn't see the floor. Um, run. I didn't want to roll because then my light would go out and I'd have to go back to the bonfire and all that jazz. Uh, I wish there were some like torches that you could light. Like I love the, using the light now that I have this mod. Like, it's that much of, of, of a significance. It makes a good difference. I wonder if you can climb this. Can you jump up here? I wonder. Probably. Uh. Hello. So where do I go to next? I'm guessing I go to that fire, or I could travel over there. That's a really long way, though. I, I think I'll, I'll just follow the my instincts and follow the light. <laughs> uh, okay, so just walk through here. You can see the reflection of my flame like in the water, that's so cool. And like I said, this mod just makes everything look more vivid, like the shadows, you can actually tell that they're shadows. The lighting makes a significant difference, not like in the vanilla one where you you light a torch and it looks like almost exactly the same as how it did before. I lost my flame. Thank you. Oh, I got shot. I'm being, sh I'm being sniped from really far away too. Roll. Do a barrel roll. Um. Okay, I guess I'll just... Oh. You're dead. You both are. Wait, no, not you. Not yet. Uh, uh, dodge. Or block, at least. There you go. Pick up a red leech something? I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen that item. Hello. Haven't seen you since uh, things betwixt. I'm guessing you're stronger than, like, your other counterparts. Wow, I do like no damage to you. Um, <laughs> it's gonna take a couple of hits to kill you. If I want to. I mean, you could just go back and we could just call it a day. I mean, wouldn't that be nice? There you go, that's 527 damage. That's some good damage there. There you go, another 550. No, don't grab me. <gasps> he grabbed me! What? Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't. Okay. Alright, and with that, I'm going to end the episode right here. So, if you uh, liked my video, make sure to leave a like and or favorite it. Leave me some comments down below and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my Dark Souls 2 walkthrough. And until next time, guys and girls, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys later. Johnny!